Hello Classic Rock fans and fellow record collectors. Today I am making a short video just to show you, the viewer, how I clean my records. This is an extremely entry-level, basic way of cleaning records, but if you're new to record collecting or if you have a big collection you just haven't gotten to in a while and you want a, uh, frankly, cheap and quick way to wash through a bunch of records, this is how I do it. Um, it's not the best way to clean records ever. There's all kinds of, you know, special brushes and uh, sprays and all these different things that uh, vinyl snobs and audiophiles will surely lecture me about in the comments of this. But, um, and, and, and that all will probably clean individual records better, but if, again, if you're not ready to, to spend the money on that kind of stuff. I just want to show you a very basic way and a very cheap way uh, to get records up from visibly dirty to, you know, functional, usable, clean. So this is the record we're going to be cleaning today. This is my nastiest record. This is Chubby Checker's Greatest Hits. I got it at a flea market several years ago for a dollar, okay? And if you can't tell, look at how beat up this freaking is uh, the uh, packaging here is waterlogged and falling apart and you can only imagine the records inside are in just as bad as condition so I'm going to show this to you up close hopefully some of this comes through so you can see what we're talking about here I don't know if the lights catching that but this is a pretty dirty record uh, there there you go you can see it there this is my process uh, hopefully, um, it'll help you, again, if you're new to collecting records or if you have a whole bunch of them, and if you're not trying to get like them like perfectly off the assembly line clean, you know? This is, again, just very entry level, so please keep that in mind. Now, the one thing I would advocate spending a little bit of money on is this. This is a label saver. Um, the most popular brand, I think, is called Groovemaster. Uh, those go for about 50 bucks if you buy straight from their website. Um, this, I believe I got on Amazon uh, for 20 or $30. I think this is just a different company's uh, version of it. It's very rudimentary. There are other types of these devices. But what this is, very simply, is something that will protect the inner label on your records and also provide you a, a nice handle for... Uh, the cleaning process. So I'm not too worried about handling the record, you know, with my hands like that just now because we're about to clean it. So get this all screwed on like so. And come over by the sink and first give it an initial rinse. Now you don't want this on full blast, but it shouldn't be a trickle either. You just want to get the water running, warm water running across the surface to kind of pop out any uh, chunks of dirt get the visible stuff off the top. You know, hopefully this will drive some water into the grooves of the record. You don't need to do this for like minutes on end. Just a little bit over the top, and I'm kind of doing this a little faster than normal just so I can uh, you know, get the point across here in this video. So, okay, so we got that. So once the record is rinsed, then you're gonna spray it down with your vinyl cleaning solution. Now this is something you can make at home and it's very cheap and very easy. What the mixture is, is one part of isopropyl alcohol, 90% or better, that is important. I know you can get it at like 70% or, or, or lower, but it, that's not going to do the job. Get yourself 90% or above isopropyl alcohol, and you mix that with two parts of distilled water. Distilled water gallon jugs are super cheap, they're like under a buck generally. You mix those two together and add in a single drop of Blue Dawn dish soap. Now I think any dish detergent is probably fine, but everything I saw online seemed to specify Blue Dawn dish soap, so I'm not gonna rock the boat on that one. But again, easy purchase, pretty cheap. And you just put a drop of that, swish it around to mix it up, and then you have your solution. So, freshly rinsed vinyl, spray it down with the solution, use a whole bunch this is the stuff that's actually um, really getting into the grooves of the record and pulling uh, 
some of that invisible dirt out. Spray both sides. Spray both sides here. Oh yeah. And you can see that even the one drop, you get some suds on this. This right here is a basic paint edger. You can get these for just a couple of bucks at Home Depot or Walmart. They've got uh, very fine fibers here on the bottom. And this cleaning process is very simple. Holding the paint edger like so, and you just go the long way across the record. This will push the cleaning solution down into the grooves and gently scrub out some of that dirt. Now it's very important you don't go back and forth like this. Don't make that mistake. Just uh, go with the grooves around the record and give extra attention to the very edges of the record because you got to remember, especially if you're buying used vinyl, you know, you know, people know you're not supposed to, but they still do. They still grab records like this, uh, the cleaning process. So I'm not too worried about handling the record. So it's really the edge of the vinyl is where all the fingerprints are and uh, giving a little extra attention to the outside will help with that. Okay, now flip this thing over. Same thing here, a little extra attention to the outer edge. Scrub that all around. Nice, nice in there, get some good suds action. Again, a little extra attention to the outside. And uh, there's a lot of suds on this, so I will just give this a real quick warm water rinse, like so, just to get the suds off the top. And then I grab my spray bottle of just distilled water. Don't put anything else in here except for distilled water and give that a hearty spray down as well. And here's a big advantage to doing this stuff yourself at home, making your own cleaning solution. These ingredients are really cheap, so feel free to use as much as you want when cleaning each record. You know, you're a clean freak, you know, be a clean freak right here. Really spray it all out. So, oh, I'm just, Sorry, I skipped a step here. This is a microfiber towel. You can get these um, anywhere they sell car parts. And be gentle, you're just trying to get the water off. And this is where you gotta start taking a, a look at what you got on here. Because it's very easy for a stray fiber, you know, or if you have pets, like a cat or a dog hair, to you know just kind of catch on here. That is looking pretty good. So there's a little bit of moisture on here, but that's okay. We're gonna let this air dry. But as you can see, you know, under all that dirt, this record was in pretty good shape. And now we've got all that gross stuff off of there. Both sides of the record look pretty good. I'm happy with how this is. This will play just fine. Then the final step, we unscrew the label protector. Put that to the side there. Try to be very careful to not put your fingerprints back on the record. Hold it like so. And then gently drop it down there into uh, where your dish is dry. Uh, and then let it air dry for you know, half hour or whatever. And finally, the last thing I recommend are buying some form of these plastic sheaths for the records once they're dry. And I got these. Um, what you do is once the record is dry, you very carefully slip it into this record sheath and you can put it right back in its proper you know, a uh, paper holder like so, and then you can slip it all back into its case. Okay, so that's my process for cleaning records. If you have a different process, or if you use a different type of cleaning solution, I'm very curious to hear it. Please post it in the comments. If your process is very expensive and involves, you know, fancy brushes and <laughs> specialty chemical solutions that you have to buy. You can tell me about them, but I really prefer to do it this way. It's, again, cheap, 
and quick and you can do a whole bunch of records without worrying about you know measuring out how much you know cleaning solution you use on each thing and also you know most of my records are secondhand these aren't again factory brand new that I'm trying to keep in mint condition these are just basic records that I bought from used record stores that I've sat in people's homes for years and have just kind of the normal schmutz and dirt over them and I just want to get that cleaned out so they play decently well on my record player. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, hopefully this video helps. So again, this is an easy, quick, cheap way to get your record collection cleaned up and playable. So hopefully that helped. Let me know what you think. Okay, so that's my process for cleaning records. Jesus Christ.